welcome back guys. So today we're taking a look at Apple and Microsoft. Before we begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as you're greatly help our channel. Without further ado, let's first start off with Apple. So you can see that Apple, it's uh, pretty bearish. You can see uh, this was the high here, had a low high and another low high at around 176 levels. So as you can see, 61.8, 50% today, 0.2 did not hold. And currently we are already at this 23.6% at the 140 levels. We closed the week just exactly above this uh, psychological support level. That said, it is likely for us to come back to retest this strong support at 129.04. You can clearly see that we are constantly uh, being um, rejected off this blue conversion line here, even on this uh, particular uh, two days to three days. You can clearly see that there was a very strong setting pressure along this blue conversion line. So that is not a good sign. We have yet to even test this uh, red baseline. So it shows that the stock is pretty weak. So the resistance to watch will be 146 here. And also the next resistance will be the $150 uh, psychological resistance. So if you look back in time, and in the event that this uh, 129 levels uh, do not hold, where exactly is our next uh, support coming in for Apple? So looking at the Fibonacci from its uh, low sometime back in uh, March, you can see that it hit the low of 53, 15 and hit a high of 182.94. So currently this 61.8% and 133.36 is at this uh, 129 levels. So in the event that we break down, things may start to turn very ugly and we are likely to see some support coming in at the next Fibonacci support at the 50%, which is uh, 118 level. So that is still pretty far away. So these 129 levels have to hold. If we do not hold, then 118 is likely to be the next support where buyers may step in. So let's move on to Microsoft. So Microsoft, it's equally bearish. You can see that we are already creating um, lower highs. So this is a high here, this is a lower high, this is another lower high. This is a low here, this is a lower low. And now we are also creating a lower low. So the pattern uh, remains uh, intact and the downtrend remains intact. So that is not a good sign. So if you zoom in closely, you can see that similar to Apple, we actually uh, were rejected off this blue uh, conversion line for a pretty while. Even when we went up, the red baseline acted as a very strong resistance. So the first resistance to clear will be 241. Second resistance to watch out for will be 250 levels. That said, uh, where are we looking at in the event that this 230 support were to break down? So similar situation, we look at the previous low at 132 levels. Previous high was 349. So as of now, we are looking towards this 50% at 241. And it seems that it's uh, barely holding. So the next support here we're looking at is this 38.2% at 215 levels. So currently, you can see that this previous uh, resistance here has now turned into support. So it's likely for us to actually uh, break down that particular resistance if there's too many uh, setting pressure here, which seems like it. So this 38.2% at 215 may be the next uh, support that we are looking at for Microsoft. So as you can see, both Microsoft and Apple is uh, very bearish. We're creating uh, lower highs and lower low patterns. So if we do not see any uh, trend reversal, then the trend is likely to remain ahead. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.